All right, for the next thing we're gonna be talking about, let's hit the comma key on our keyboard, go into tool, and I'm sure you guys are all sick of seeing this guy, but again, so you can follow along, this is where we're gonna start. So hit the comma key to get rid of the light box, drag him out on the canvas, go into edit mode, and now you have, let's go ahead and turn off perspective as well. You have uh, a guy with multiple subtools. We can go in here to subtool and you can see we got a bunch on here. Now let's talk a little bit about gizmo fundamentals. So what the gizmo is, if you hit W on your keyboard, uh, actually W E R, which is move, scale and rotate. Any of these three will just have the same functionality because the gizmo, as you can see, can move, can scale and can rotate. Now how I'm moving that pivot is when I hold down alt, you can see it's gonna turn on that little unlock button right there, that little unlock icon. That means I can unlock the pivot, move it where I want to, and now I can go to the tip of the finger and then scale from the tip of the finger, or I can actually alt tap on the object and it'll just take that surface normal and kind of just plant that pivot right there. Or I can alt drag and then hold down shift and even constrain it uh, to the world axis and then just go through here and fine tune this. So again, we can scale them from the elbow. Uh, so if I go over here to his palm and alt tap on his palm and then scale him from his palm, I can do that. Uh, if I go over, you know, if I turn on X, tap X on my keyboard to go into X symmetry, you're gonna see under transform that toggles activate symmetry on and by default it's in the X axis and left and right direction. Uh, so now we can, again, move scale and rotate from the that pivot point. Now, because, you know, my half of his body is over here and half his body over here, when we, you know, rotate and mirror this, that's gonna kind of shear his body so maybe not super useful, but I just wanted to point that out. Uh, and again, if you wanna go over here into solo mode, uh, if I wanna reset this to the world axis, I can hold down Alt and just tap this little rewind icon here. That'll go to the world axis. I can hold down Alt, drag it to the bottom of his feet. And if I wanted to go to the middle of his body, if I go this, you can, if I hover, well, I guess you can't see it. If I hover over this, it says go to unmash my center. Well, since I have X symmetry turned on, it's going to this side of his body's unmash my center. So I'm gonna tap X to go out of X symmetry go to unmash mesh center, then I'll tap X to go back into X symmetry so I can scale from the middle of his body, or I can hold down Alt, drag it to the bottom of his feet, and scale from the bottom of his feet. Now, when I go, you know, I'm in solo mode here. If I go uh, turn solo mode off so I can see all of the subtools, there's a little checkbox here, and if I click on that, it's gonna turn into multiple boxes, and that means you're gonna be able to move multiple. In this case, I can move multiple, I can rotate multiple, or I can scale multiple. You're gonna see all the subtools follow along. In fact, if I hold down control shift and drag just over his feet here, it's going to unhash his body and his boots. Uh, and if you wanna uh, hold down control shift and just tap on his glove and maybe his uh, wrist guards here, now you can move multiple. And anything that's unhashed will scale, anything that's hashed will uh, just be left alone. It's essentially masked. Uh, you can also control shift and tap in your document, that'll invert your hashing and then control shift drag to unhash everything. So that's just a way to move multiple with the gizmo. So now that we're caught up on gizmo functionality, I'll put a chapter in here. So here's where the, the new stuff starts. Uh, you're gonna see up here, we have focal shift turned on uh, and it's set to negative 100 by default. So all of your gizmo, and when I say gizmo, I'd really just mean transpose. It's You can toggle gizmo by tapping Y and then here's your transpose line, and then you tap Y and then there's your gizmo. But we're gonna be using gizmo for what we're gonna be demonstrating here. So if I take this focal shift and I start moving it up, and then again, I'm gonna alt tap on his palm over here and we start scaling. You might notice it starts kind of getting a little bit of a bend once you leave negative uh, 100. And in fact, if we go even higher, you're gonna start seeing it's scaling from this side of the body. Now, if we wanna scale both hands on that local axis, what we can do is we can turn on L sim and that's gonna take that local uh, axis of symmetry here. So now when we scale, it's gonna scale both sides from the center of the palm. But I'm gonna keep cranking this up. If you crank it all the way up, you're probably gonna lose functionality. You're gonna see move, scale and rotate doesn't do anything. But if you put it down just under, you're gonna see we're adjusting that area of influence that this gizmo is having. So the lower this goes, the more it's gonna influence the character or the object here, the higher it goes, it's only it's gonna focus that influence uh, in just a little local area here. And because I have move multiple turned on, you're seeing it's scaling the hand and the wrist guards and the palm, or the gloves, the wrist guards and the palm here. Uh, and of course you can move, scale and rotate in fact, if we go to the side here and we just alt drag this to the back so it's not even uh, touching his head. In fact, we'll go ahead and reset uh, this. And if you want to center it, you can also just alt drag here and we just kind of 
put it in there. So here, the gizmo is behind his body. However, if I go through here and start scaling, you're gonna see it's just gonna kind of push this influence here. So while we're scaling or rotating, you know, if you put it in the middle of his body, obviously it's gonna rotate from that point here. But if you put it way over here, it's just going to affect these back things. And if I only want it to affect the selected subtool, again, just turn off move multiple, and now it's just going to affect his head. And if you wanna inflate his head, you can put that, hold down Alt, move that pivot point in the middle of his head here, scale it up. If you wanna move multiple, turn this on, and now you can inflate his head along with anything that's unhashed around your gizmo here. Now again, the higher this goes, the smaller that area of influence is gonna be, and 99 seems like a little bit too high. So 94, there we go. It's kind of that influence is dropping off. If I drop it way down here to like 20, you're gonna see it's gonna kind of start scaling you know, his upper body here, like so. Uh, you can do a non-uniform scale, so you can actually just scale along the y-axis if you'd like with that area of influence here. And it also ref uh, respects uh, both hashing and masking. So if I hold down Alt and again, tap in his palm here, we'll crank this back up to 75-ish. And you're gonna see, eh, maybe a little bit higher. You're gonna see when I scale, his legs start to move a little bit. So if I go through here, and again, if I go into solo mode, you're gonna see we have his body subtool selected. So I can just go in here, hold down Control, and we can just mask his lower body out. And now when I scale, uh, everything will scale just fine. And again, you can hold down Alt and you can move this rotational axis down his body here. In fact, if we alt and drag on his body, it'll kind of just pick up uh, that normal direction and then he can scale again non-uniformly down the y-axis or down his arm axis in that case. And again, it's gonna leave any masked areas, it masked parts alone. And in fact, if we hold down control shift because we have move multiple selected and that goes into select rectangle, I can unhash these so now when I scale up the palm you're gonna see even though I didn't mask the glove and the wrists it's still gonna leave them alone because those are unhashed so a couple different ways to leave certain areas alone uh, be that through masking or hashing and if I want to get rid of this mask I can control drag unmask and then uh, control shift drag to unhash everything so now I can I'm back to move multiple and scaling on my local symmetry axis again if I turn this off it's going to like go away from this world center and then towards the world center. Not what I want. I want to have LSIM turned on. So again, I can move and scale and rotate down that local axis over here. So as you can imagine with your own characters, if you go through here and you're setting your gizmo, you have moved multiple turned on very quickly and easily. You'll be able to kind of change the overall look. And I'm going to even take this uh, influence down a little bit so we get a really nice, you know, stretch his head out in, in, in here. And I can also just mask this here. If we alt tap the head here, we can mask over the head. And if I want a softer mask, I can go, I can go into say mask lasso and I can zoom way out. I'm just going to mask right here. That'll give me a nice, so nice soft mask. And then we can go through here and we can just put that at the base of the neck, move multiple, uh, focal shift down a bit, and we can literally just kind of, again, we can hash all the rest of his body parts out here. So now I can just kind of like scale his head parts really quickly, rotate things around and get some really nice uh, results. We can invert this by control clicking. And then even with this uh, move multiple, I can invert the hashes now. So now it's just his body and we'll go ahead and unhash his body here. So now we can go through and we can change his overall body proportions. We'll go ahead and go to the middle and we'll just scale his middle out, make him a little chubbier. We'll unmask by control dragging and then we'll go out and move multiple mode. And very quickly we get a very different looking character. And you know, if you do want to put this back, uh, so if we go back to the head here, we zoom out and we just, you know, control drag over the neck and you're like, okay, I really just want to rotate this head now. Again, just hold down, uh, make sure you're in move mode by hitting W. Take that focal shift down to negative 100 and now it's going to behave as normal. So now I can go in here to move multiple. I can unhash just the upper body parts here, invert this mask, and now I can just rotate this neck around with with a mask and you know move this to the middle here, do a uniform scale. So you don't really lose any of the original functionality. You can always turn it back to negative 100 to do whatever you'd like, but now you can do it with an area of influence fall off based on that focal shift.